Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and I wanted to talk a bit about my expectations for a smartphone, a computer, a pocket computer, a PC, if you will, that would cost $1,000. I can tell you this, not a single company, not a single entity, not a single device on this planet right now is remotely worth $1,000. Not even close. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, 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 Chris, but it has the most amazing specs. Really? Are, are we going to talk about how specs are largely irrelevant again? Okay, we can go into that. What was wrong with the smartphone you had before? Heck, I'd even ask, what was wrong with the smartphone you had maybe even three years ago? Yes, technology is advancing. These things are getting better over time, and that's exactly what technology does. These aren't collectibles, man. You use them. They are tools. These tools are getting better and easier to use, but they're also getting more expensive. Why? I don't know. A price breakdown of the actual components reveals that they're worth hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Not thousands. So an article popped into my feed today uh, from Mashable. I'll link it in the uh, description below or above or wherever YouTube is deciding to put links anymore. Uh, Mashable says, uh, and this is a quote, it's inexcusable for Apple and Google to ship pricey phones with busted software. Bravo! That's exactly what I'm saying. So see, I'm not the only one saying it. I'm not just saying because, oh, Mashable says it, therefore it's true. I'm sitting here telling you that if you want to spend money on a device, it deserves to be the best device for the price. And the devices we have today that are in the $1,000 range are not worth $1,000. I'm, I'm sitting here telling you this, knowing full well that you turned to me for your reasons. Some people don't. Some people have turned away because I refuse to be a cheerleader for this. You've turned to me because you want my opinion, my direct opinion delivered to your ears. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. But what you need to listen to is the things that I'm saying. They are not worth your time and attention. For whatever reason, they're not. Does that mean that I'm going to sit there and not get these $1,000 devices? I'm using a Pixel 2 XL, which I've already told you. I can't recommend. I can't recommend the device that I've chosen to use to you. I, I, I've shared that in my Pixel 2 XL review for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> not just the hardware, but the software. The software right now is so out of sync from, uh, with the hardware because Google is still trying to figure out how to manage hardware and software that I know you're going to see anomalies in this video recording, like some color shifting. I actually have to use a third-party camera app in order to use this device to video record and an external microphone because, unfortunately, there's a software bug that has rendered the microphone built into the Pixel 2 XL completely unusable, completely unlistenable. Like any audio that's uh, that's recorded, you heard me record a video, and the number one complaint was, whoa, the audio is too tinny. And that's not just because my voice sucks. I get that. This isn't about my voice. This isn't about putting me on the stand. This is me demanding that these companies, if they are demanding and asking the price, that yes, some people are willing to pay, we expect value in return. And I'm, I'm just sitting here telling you the value's not there. Not because of the hardware. Not because it doesn't have bleeding edge stuff. Not because it doesn't have cutting edge stuff. Not because it doesn't have chamfered edge stuff. None of you knew what chamfered edges was. I guarantee it. Maybe one of you did. You were the nerd in high school. But I think we all were. So, it's just mind-boggling to me how we are now beginning to accept that these massively lackluster experiences are the best experiences we can get. That's pretty much what I said. 2017 has been a horrific year for this kind of stuff. It's been expensive. And then on top of the expensive, we get just not good software. I'll make it simple for those of you who are still trying to figure out what the hell is chamfered. The, the software is not what it needs to be. And I'm so grateful that I'm not the only one saying this because it seems like most of the people talking about this stuff, certainly on this platform, are accepting of it. Well, this is the way of the future. Oh, more expensive devices. 
that's the way of the future, more expensive devices, okay, then give me a software experience that matches that or exceeds it. I've had a better experience from a $100 gadget than I have from a $1,000 gadget, the $1,000 gadget I'm choosing to use. But, but again, this isn't about one company, which is going to upset a lot of you because you're thinking, well, ha, my company, the company that I chose to back is doing better. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I know you want it to be. That's great. Because, of course, you should demand that. that if you're, if you're going to get angry, don't get angry at me. Don't shoot the messenger. Get angry at the companies. You deserve better. I deserve better. If they're expecting us to pay the price to adopt their new technology or their decision, fine. But the problem is there's a complete disconnect from that price point for the hardware and what that software is able to enable. Apple has not escaped, you know, a uh, uh, judgment on this. Google has absolutely not escaped judgment from this. Any of the OEMs have not escaped judgment for this. We, we are just in this, this chasm right now where there are just nothing but disconnects between cohesive experiences between the hardware and the software on every single device. I, I, I'm really getting to the point where I'm more inclined to recommend mid-range devices because then at least you know you have to attenuate your expectations with a mid-range device, a mid, like $500 device. You get more for your money from a $500 device than you do for a $1,000 device. And everywhere, everywhere there's going to be trade-offs. There's no such thing. See, I, I had to choose my trade-offs. You had to choose your trade-offs. Now, if you're sitting there believing that you have the perfect phone for, for everything, okay, you may be in a minority. I think most people are very well served by a mid-range device compared to what we have at the top end or certainly from the low end. And that is largely, by the way, not because of uh, amazing hardware and amazing specs. It's because of the software. The software makes it a good experience, not the hardware. $1,000 gadgets, this is the new era. I wasn't planning on talking about this. Honestly, I, I wasn't even sure what I was going to talk about today in this YouTube channel. I knew what I was going to talk about today in the other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash locker gnome. I'll be doing two TLDR over there later. So if you don't like listening to me talk about this topic, number one, you shouldn't have listened to this long. Second of all, you can de uh, determine what I talk about in the other YouTube channel when I stream that live every day. And then if you want to see me play video games, specifically Star Wars, I'll be doing that at Star Wars Radar's YouTube channel. It's got like 48,000 followers on Twitter. So much more exciting to talk about that because at least we get to enjoy what it is that we're paying for when it comes to Star Wars. With technology? Nope. Not right now. Mm -mm. Don't see it. Haven't seen it. It, it. It's just the, the prices keep going up and the experience keeps going down. It, it, we've hit a law of diminishing returns with this stuff. And, and I, I haven't seen an exception to this rule. I wish I had an exception to this rule. In terms of the things that we use on a daily basis, I'm not talking about like one-off little gadget things that, that do what they do. Like I said, it's not about price. It's about the value for the price. What you get from it. The, the things that you use every day, like constantly every day. And I can think of nothing more than a smartphone of a for a device that we use constantly every day. You're probably watching this on a smartphone. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're watching it on a TV. Maybe you're watching it. I have no idea what you're watching it on. And quite honestly, I don't care. I don't care who makes it. I don't care where you're watching. I'm just happy you're watching it. That's what excites me about technology. It's an enabler, not a destination. You chose the best thing for you or potentially the best price for you. But I'm telling you, we are walking into dangerous territory if this is the new benchmark. If $1,000 is the new benchmark and this is what we're getting right now, and they're not going to slow down because they don't see the problem. They don't see the problem with the software, even though there are plenty of problems with the software. These are not $1,000 software experiences, not remotely. And if more of the people who had a, a wider reach actually said this, maybe things could get better. I already know I don't have that power. That's not my position. I, I don't even know if Mashable has that power anymore. I never had it in the first place. But if more people were critical about these problems, they would get fixed. But because th 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 those who lead attention in this space don't call them out, we have the problems. 
it's 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 it, they re the problems are reinforced and you're going to spend more money you are going to spend more money if that's what you want to do great but i'm trying to save you money that's all especially when it comes to these smartphones these pocket computers these pcs that we are using constantly throughout the day for just about everything a thousand dollars let me ask you this. Even if you disagreed with me with everything I've said, do you want to spend $1,000 on a phone? Do you want to spend $1,000 on a pocket computer? Is that what you want to spend? They're going to keep making it. You keep buying it. So on that front, as I reach off screen to get a sip of some green tea here, tomorrow you have an opportunity because I've already said the iPhone 10 is not on my radar. At all. And I know people have pushed for it. This this video, by the way, is not about the iPhone 10. But tomorrow, we're going to be doing a live device drive. You have a chance to help make it happen. You can crowdfund it. I'll be here answering questions, doing a, a TLDR-styled episode, a live episode in this channel. And if we don't effectively uh, raise enough during that live broadcast, it isn't going to happen. Google takes 30% off the top, by the way. Most companies do. It's it's processing. Everyone makes money at, at every level with any companies, certainly with devices. But you have a chance. You, ha you have a chance to uh, make the iPhone 10 happen, at least for me, if you really want a, a truthful, honest opinion, because I just cannot justify anything near what Apple's asking for, for that. Mm -mm, not even close. Sorry, Animoji. I, I'm willing to sit this one out. I'll survive. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I just kind of had to get that off my chest because, again, seeing this article, just, you know, it's, it, it was like, boom, yes, they're right. I've been saying this for years, and now we've got $1,000 smartphones. $1,000. Funny, not funny. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Even if you disagreed, I appreciate you listening to the things that I have to say, especially if I care to talk about them. Thank you for watching the daily live videos. Thank you for watching the live videos I do in this channel. Uh, following me across social, uh, thank you for continuing to tweet me, to, to comment wherever I, I post when it's on topic. Uh, I, I really do love you. I've been saying that for a few years now because I'm serious. I love you, and that's why I bring these topics up. I appreciate you and the time that you've given me for this video. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own potentially $1,000 devices. May the force be with you.